Okay, I want to show you how to hook up these four resistors right here to a power supply on a breadboard. Notice that these resistors are in series. And also remember that on a breadboard, these vertical five holes here are connected in the background behind the plastic. And also these five are connected as well, vertically only, and there's no connection across the valley. So starting with the power supply, positive and negative. So there's the positive cable here connected to one resistor and the negative cable over here for my 15 volt power supply. So I tried to make this look like the diagram. And also notice here that I was careful that I got these two resistors connected here, but I didn't put them on the same row as these two connections. If I'd say move this connection right here over to this spot, then I would have shorted out that, that resistor. And so also I was making sure the connection was on the one side or the other of the, um, the valley to make sure that there was a connection here. And I have one right here as well, and that completes my circuit. Now we're going to find out that as you measure the voltage drop across um, any of these resistors, as you go from one resistor uh, to the other, you'll notice that the voltage drop across each one of these resistors is a fraction of the power supply voltage that you have here. You'll also find out that if you take the power supply voltage, in this case 15, and multiply it by the resistance of the resistor you're, you're measuring the voltage across, let's say the uh, 2 kilo ohm resistor, and then divide that by the equivalent resistance of the circuit, that that will tell you what the voltage across this resistor uh, right here is. So there's a voltage divider equation which we can use to calculate the voltage across each one of these. And what we find out is the 15 volts is spread across each of the four resistors, but not equally because these resistors do not have equal values. We'll find out that the resistor that has the most resistance actually has the most voltage. All right, I hope that gets you, uh, helps get you started.